Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. I started out to make one video. Uh, it was going to be the little hammer restoration that I'm going to show you now and a, a video of what some of the subscribers sent in, but it just went so long. You know, it was a lot sent in and, and I'm sorry. So uh, this is the second video of two. So the other video was just uh, what the subscribers sent in. And this video is uh, the quick hammer restoration, quick video. Let's check it out in its entirety. Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. It's Friday, TGIF. Thank God you made it through another week. And what a beautiful day it is today. Look at that sky. Listen to them birds. Look at the grass is all green. It's just, this is the perfect time of year. And uh, 65 degrees, slight breeze, just beautiful out. But we got a lot to get to today. Uh, first of all, let's go downstairs. I want to introduce you to a uh, member of the clan over here. And uh, then we'll get okay. started. We're back down the basement. And like I said, we got a lot to do today. So I'm going to be kind of moving as quick as I can to get through it. And uh, one of the I wanted you to meet one of the new clan over here. Uh, I want you to meet Pickles. Pickles is a possum that has been coming around here for a few months. And uh, unfortunately, possums only live a short time, you know, maybe a year and a half or so. They have a very short lifespan, but... Uh, I just love them. They are such fantastic little creatures. They're marsupials, which means they carry their young usually in a pouch and, uh, you know, like a kangaroo would. And they uh, they can have up to 13 uh, babies at once. And they're just fantastic little creatures. They eat ticks, which is great if you, uh, you know, you put them, they can eat like uh, thousands of ticks a day. So if you have an area that might be prone to ticks, good to have possums around. They don't carry rabies because their blood temperature doesn't support the virus. And it's just they're fantastic. Little and they're very docile and gentle. You know, uh, they, they look, they do have a look to them, right? They, they're not the most attractive looking animals, but they're just wonderful. And and uh, th this guy, Pickles, such a great guy, lets me pet him, you know, he's and he, the cats get along with him because the cats, they kind of, you know, they were all born about the same time. So the cats kind of think of him as like the slow brother, you know? So, uh, but uh, that's the Pickles. Okay, next up, I just feel like doing one of these tubular hammers that I got for a quarter. And uh, I, I tell you, you can have a lot of fun with it. You know, with a quarter, you don't have to worry about damaging anything or screwing anything up because it's, you know, it's a low investment. It's a limited investment. Here we have, you can see the Stanley. We'll look at that. We're going to do a quick wire brushing, check out if there's any other writing, and we'll be back in okay, a second. we're back from our post-wire brush evaluation. You can see here it is indeed a Stanley 51-490 hammer. It was also known as the Steel Master. Uh, these are vintage hammers. They were made in the United States, you know, decent steel, but uh, they were kind of a, an unusual niche to this market. You didn't see professional carpenters using them, but the homeowners, you know, like them. They're, like I said, they have a nice balance to them, a nice weight. I don't know why I kind of grew to like these tubular hammers over time. Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I kind of like all different things. Anyway, Let's uh, let's have some fun. You can see there's some chipping. The edges are very sharp. It, uh, you know, let's let's have some fun with this hammer. See what we can do and just put it back in service. And we'll clean up the handle. To clean up the handle, I use a scrub brush and some goop. Remember, there's some markings on here. Always, there's always got to be some white paint on a hammer handle, or else uh, it came from out of space. Okay, here we uh, have every all our initial grinding done and faces all tuned up and everything looks lovely, right? But, you know, we can use a little color and this is why they left this kind of a rough grind that grabs the paint good. So we can make it any color we want. They usually paint it back here and around here. And of course, look how nice the handle. This is just cleaned with a hand cleaner and a scrub brush. Got all that dirt out of there. These were lovely handles because they were very durable. And uh, we'll just coat this with a little bit of silicone spray or something, which is great for rubber. Uh, but let's put some color on here. I, I'm trying to figure out what color do I like. Now you know my favorite part. Remember what this Stanley Steelmaster looked like before we started. 
And we're calling this project done. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I don't know what it is about these that grew on me since I, I first had them when I was a kid, you know, but I, I tell you, I like them. And there's so many possibilities what you could do here. You can see what we did here. We did a little Scout Crafter Red. This is baked on for about two days. You can see it shows all the, the steel grain underneath because when I brush it on, but then when I put it over the furnace, it really dries tight. And uh, you can see we polished up the top here. The sides all came out nice. And then the handle was always, it was in good shape to begin with, right? And then we just went over this with a little bit of Armor Roll. Remember Armor Roll from the 70s? <laughs> Remember when our dashes used to shine? <laughs> yeah, that was... Remember when you put on the steering wheel by mistake and you made that first turn? You almost went into the window of the grocery store? Uh, anyway, look at the face here. It came out real nice, right? This uh, these are twenty-five cent hammer. How can you have? How can you not have fun with this hammer? Now, a, a quick thought about where I put the paint. Whenever you put paint on something, you always got to think about the future. Like I don't like painting handles too much because they always get chipped up. And, and, and like if you were to paint this side, now when you lay this hammer down, it's going on to the steel here. There's, it never touches the paint. And the same thing with here. When you pull a nail, the paint is here, but this is all left. Uh, bare, bare steel in here so that when the nail goes in there it doesn't chip the paint so that's why when you got to think about when you're painting something when you're going to lay it down every time you lay this hand this hammer down it's not going to chip any of the paint you know so and the one other thing i want to talk about whenever you do these hammers if you're going to take the time you see this edge here i like to put a nice radius on that edge you see here this comes from the factory very sharp and because of that including this hammer had chips whenever they have a, a corner there's always a, a a chance of chipping so i take the opportunity put a a nice radius on there and you see how and when you touch this hammer it is just beautiful in the hand to touch and if you want to you know put it in your belt or whatever it's a nice hammer so 25 cents you can make it any color you want how can you be so there we have it our stanley steel master and and also the uh true value rocket hammers you know well they all had that they're probably made by the same company they had the tubular steel um tubular steel handle and they had the uh you know the steel head which is i have to tell you something it grows on you it just has a nice balance next time give it a try i know we always shied away from them when we were younger because for some reason you know a lot of uh Asian imported hammers were like that and the heads would break off and it was just junk but if you find a, an American made one like the ones I mentioned they are really good hammers and they have a nice balance anyway thanks very much for tuning in and I uh, hope you have a great day take care now bye bye